This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can work with swatches in Affinity Designer. So to get us started here, if you come over here to the top right portion of the screen, you should notice a tab next to the color tab titled Swatches. If you click on that, you'll have these drop, this drop-down menu here with all of your different swatches that are currently in there. So to create a new swatch, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to come up here to this little menu icon, and what we're going to do is first we're going to create a swatch from the colors being used in this image, and then we'll go and create a custom swatch after that so I can show you how both of that works. So we'll come up here to this menu icon. We're going to come down here to where it says create a palette from a document. And what this is going to do is it's going to create a color palette based on all of the colors currently being used on this artboard right here or within this canvas. Now there's two different types. There's application palettes and there's document palettes. A document palette will save the palette within this document only. An application palette will save the palette within Affinity Designer so that you can use that palette in other documents later on. I don't want to create a color palette for the, do for the application, so I'm just going to create uh, a demonstration palette for this document here. I'm going to click on Document Palette. And as you can see, it created a palette from all of the colors being used in this image right here. So if I want to create some objects, I can color them in with all of these different colors here. Okay, now if you come up here, you'll notice the default name of this palette is just Palette. So if you want to rename that to something else, come up here to this menu icon, click on Rename Palette, and rename this to something like Beach Colors, something that you'll be able to recognize it. And there you go, now you have that palette saved. Okay, now if you don't want to use that palette anymore, if you want to get rid of it, come back up here to the menu, and we're looking for Delete Palette. Yes, and there you go, now it's gone. Okay, so let's go over how to create a palette based on custom colors of your choosing. Let me get rid of this. Let me get rid of this. Let me create a new palette. I'm gonna click on this menu icon, and I'm going to look for Add Document Palette. Again, the Document Palette is just for this document. If you want to save your palette so that you can work with it in other documents, choose Application Palette. I'm going to click on Add Document Palette, and there you, there you see it is right there. It's titled Unnamed. I'm going to rename this to Custom Palette and click OK. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some shapes on the document here. And I'm going to make each of these different colors. Let me just do this real quick. Okay, so let's say these are the colors I've been working with in my design work, and I want to save these colors to a palette. What I'm going to do is let me come back over here to the Swatches tab. I'm going to click on one of the objects that has the color in it, and I'm going to click this icon over here that says Add Current Fill to the Palette. And there you go. There it's been added. Click on this do the same thing. Now we're just going to go through and add each of these to the palette like that. And there we have our custom palette saved. Okay, now like I said, this is a this is a document palette, so it's going to save it only to this document. If you want to save it to the to the entire application, choose application. And if you want to export this palette so that you can use this palette on another computer where you have Affinity Designer installed, you can come over here to this menu icon and go to Export Palette, and it will ask you to, to choose a location on your hard drive to export the file as. And then over here we have Import Palette as well, meaning you can import your, your Affinity Designer palette that you created elsewhere. You can also use this to import color palettes from Adobe Illustrator as long as it's the file extension is .ase. So you can use your Illustrator color palettes in here as well if you'd like. So I think that should do it for this tutorial. That's how you can go about working with swatches and custom color palettes in Affinity Designer. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.